So they're going over. Well, they're not really going over it, but they're Goku's going through his memory banks, which off of the audio recording, it is confirmed that yes, he does remember them. He remembers his mother. He remembers his papa. Um, there's even a shot where Raditz is in there, so he definitely remembers that. Um, and he remembers getting shipped out. Amazon Prime. Okay, he does remember. <laughs> And this is why I love him. Like, we can see his reactions now. Let's go. Let's go. See, you just you just added like 50 more levels to this fucking shit, man. Guys, give it up for freaking Kai, son. Oh my god. Anyway, all right. Anyway. Literally, long time no see, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Literally. But anyway, so we're we're back on here. Goku's like. Oh, I feel like I finally understand what Saiyan Pride is all about. This is where this is where shit starts getting weird, okay? Cause he just through his memory feels like he understands what Pride is about. This is the same guy that hasn't really had much of a brain in the first place. And now all of a sudden he's on some intellectual shit, like deeper meanings and understandings and like, you know, I know what Pride Dude. is all about. He got, he got he got hit on the head, lost his memory. He just gotta get hit again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so then he says, "I remember what it's about, along with my dad's face. The thing is, I haven't had a total faith in my power. So maybe it was, I don't know, more or less like he rem like he through hearing his dad in the battle." And despite the odds that his dad had against the same dude that they're fighting, maybe that's more or less what he was trying to refer to. Like, his dad was way weaker than this guy. And he still didn't give a shit and no fucks. And still went on with trying to, you know, actually freaking get the job done. And he did just that. And so that's what I feel like would make a little bit more sense. Just because, you know, like, I don't understand how seeing... I mean, he didn't even see his dad's face. He saw it in his head, right? Like, there was... They remember, this was an audio recording. It wasn't like a fucking Uvu Skype freaking virtual shit that just popped out of the scouter, okay? None of that happened. So, his... Through the voice, that just unlocked his visual memory or whatever. And then, not even just Goku, but Vegeta. I've lost sight of it as well. My... My burden is not the sins of Saiyans, but our people's pride. So I'm just like, all right, what the hell is going on here? Okay, like, and this is, th we're like only like fucking like six pages in. And I'm already asking like hella questions. Like, what is happening? Like with, 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 like what is pride anymore? You know, because originally for Vegeta, pride was like, he was all self-righteous. He felt like it was his birthright and all this. Remember, you know that? Like, you know, like he's the prince of Saiyans and da-da-da-da-da, right? Now and then and then and then that the 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 whole pride thing changed. It, it was it was it, it was not about that anymore. It was about currently, like in the present, like he's prideful because of his Saiyan race. It wasn't like on some other shit. And now it's like now it's about whatever it is now which is very vague it's like it's it's like a it's a mixture of things at this rate and all because of them hearing bardock go through it with gas the guy that they're struggling with i feel like <clears throat> i feel like what they're trying to do here to us is just pulling actually with the pride term with the saying pride term itself so i don't i don't really have much insight on that in the first place because it's like you said that that part i agree i, I feel like that that's it's kind of all over the place right now it's just it's just not it but what i was kind of like gravitating towards was that whole comment of i haven't i haven't had total faith in my power and then vegeta said i've lost sight of it as well that i immediately connected that statement to the moment super happened because everything that happened in super literally took them to a deity level and that's the moment when they realized like there is a level that we won't achieve on our own or we have to do some super crazy shit to even think about getting that strong and i mean in the end vegeta really did do it on his own so shout outs to him for that yeah right but at the same time like 
I can imagine, you know, especially someone as prideful as Vegeta, right? I can I can only imagine what it must have been like to achieve something like Super Saiyan 2, then see someone like Goku, you know, get Super Saiyan 3, just to find out that, you know, gods will flick that shit dead. You know, Facts. I can only imagine how you're going to lose pride in your personal race's transformations after seeing some shit like that. So... I feel like that's what that's what they're referring to. Like they've lost sight of it because now they're now they're just focusing on their god key and stepping up to the next level of Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan this whatever with with godly mixtures in it. And now we have Ultra Instinct. So like, there's all these powers that they are putting faith in that aren't theirs, that aren't that that, that don't have anything to do with the Saiyan heritage. Like Ultra Instinct is something that anyone can achieve. It's just way too hard to do so, so no one's able to do it. Technically, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, I understand what you're what you're getting at. It's a it's so a all the powers that they're relying on. Yeah, they're like techniques that anyone can use. Like Vegeta's out here learning instant transmission. That's not a Saiyan thing, you know? Right. Right. So, so yeah, I feel like I feel like that's what that's what was being talked about there. But with the whole pride thing, I don't even think Manito cleared that shit up. I really think they're just throwing shit out at us right now so i don't i don't have anything about that brandon what's your thoughts i see you making faces and shit what what, what, <laughs> what do you think it's so far that i mean kind of pretty much hit it to be honest like that's what that's that's the only thing i was kind of eh about so we're so we're all on the same page here like that th like i swear like when i saw people's reactions towards this chapter like no one felt this way and i thought that i really was the only one out here feeling like this is kind of a weird chapter i'm not gonna lie like despite the action which we're obviously gonna get to but i mean like i you know these these episodes i usually just try to like like run through the chapter mad quick so that way we can actually get to the thoughts part and but i can't do that now you know what i'm saying because there's so much shit to talk about just within the first six pages i already like i have like a small comment when we get to the action part but i will let you go <laughs> all right oh that's that good shit